Okay, this is probably gonna be the most important video you're ever gonna watch in your entire life. Are you ready? And I really think spirituality is the only true religion for all of those who want to wake up and who no longer want to live in their system of lies. All right, spirituality is just a Christianity with an extra step, but a very big step, very huge part of the understandings of the universe is missed from Christianity. Maybe it was removed purposefully so we all stay in line, so they still remain control over our minds, so we never wake up and stand together against them, the Satanists, the elites who rule the world. All right, so first of all, we're gonna watch this Christian video from TikTok. This is a uh, one Christian influencer, I would say. I don't know who he actually is, but as far as I know, he's going around universities preaching the love and the word of Jesus Christ and God. And I saw him many times, but this video in particular is very interesting because I will explain to you what spirituality is and what is missing from Christianity. That big part that you all should know. All right, let's watch it. Before Jesus was crucified, he prayed to his father, correct? Correct. So I'm kind of just confused on like, if he was fully God, how yep. was he speaking to God? Good question. God is spirit means you cannot confine God to a torso, two arms, and two legs, and a head. God is not a material object. God is a spiritual being. That is why God can be in New York City and San Marcos, Texas at the same time. He's not limited to the physical. Jesus Christ claimed that this God who is spirit chose to humble himself and become a human being, which means God the Son, Jesus, limited himself. He chose to limit himself and confine himself to a body. Which means when they nailed his hands to a wooden beam on a cross, it really hurt. He wasn't just a spirit floating around. It means he really got hungry and that's why he ate. It means he understood what it was like to be rejected, to be scorned, the same way you and I know what it's like to be rejected and scorned. So he was really a human being, but he was more than a human being. He was the eternal God who is spirit. So was he like praying to himself? Jesus is not all of God. Jesus is part of God, God the Son, who humbled himself, took upon himself a body, but he was not just a man. He was God in human form, but he wasn't all of God. That's why he talks to his father. That's why he talks about the Holy Spirit. See, Jesus Christ was nothing but a part of a God who humbled himself into a human form to preach his word and to experience how it is to be in this human form that we all live in. The only missing part from this is that actually we all are like a Jesus Christ. We are all part of a God who humbled himself and he divided his consciousness into many forms, into all of us. What means that I am part of a God and you are part of a God. Anything Jesus did, you could have done if you believed and have faith. The only difference between us and Jesus is that Jesus was aware of all of this and Jesus had faith. He believed that he was part of the God. This is why he was this perfect human being because he believed and he knew that he was part of a God just like me and just like you. God is all there is. So God is the whole universe, everything you see. This is why he is at the multiple locations all at once. This is why he sees everything, he hears everything, and he knows everything, because he is everything. So you are also part of a God. 
you are much more powerful than the elites wanted you to know. We are all part of a God in flesh and blood. We all are one, no matter your race, your gender, or your religion. Everything is God. Everything you see is God. Let's watch this second part as well. When I doubt God's existence, I look at the amazing order and design in the universe. And that order and the design, the beauty, clearly points to an artist. It clearly points to a designer. It clearly points to an author. When you look at the amount of information packed into the DNA of a single cell, it demands an intelligent mind. It demands a creator God. And then when you read the Gospels and examine carefully how Jesus treated people with incredible integrity and dignity and compassion and mercy, when you listen to him teach like the Sermon on the Mount, when you watch him die on a cross, loving and forgiving his enemies, and then when you see him risen from the dead, the overwhelming evidence is that he is reliable, he is the truth, he's not just a fantasy, and your faith will grow, not because you breathe in thin air, your faith in Christ will grow because you examine the facts, and based on the facts, you begin to realize Jesus Christ is reliable in a way that no option is. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope and with power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Just like you are, your DNA contains all of the information of this entire universe. And you still don't think that you're part of a God? Everything is stored already in your DNA and you still can't wake up and realize that you are part of a God before spirituality. I was born in a Christian country, but I didn't believe in God. I was atheist, but I was still the best person I ever knew. I didn't need this fear of some God above that will punish me if I wasn't a good person. I was always a good person, even though I didn't believe in God. I didn't need God to do good, to help people, to be this lovely human being. I never needed God. And now I finally understand that I was my God my whole life. The only thing I needed is to be able to look myself in a mirror. This is why I was a good person my whole life, even without God. And now, I realized that I am my God of my life, my entire life. So this all made sense. This is for you to understand as well. Study spirituality, get to know who you really are and wake up. Or you want to stay asleep. You want to stay a slave to the system of lies. The choice is yours. Maybe you'll wake up in the next life. Who knows? All right. And those who are awakened, see you in the next one. Bye.